Hi, and welcome to a quick video by me, um, a little unboxing video of this little Boyer BY-M1 lavalier microphone. Uh, basically, again, a bit like the last un microphone unboxing I've done, just trying to improve the sound a little bit, um, but cheaply, just because, you know, the whole YouTube thing is just a bit of a, I don't know, something to pass the time really more than anything. I never intend on making a career out of it. You'll probably all be glad to know. Um, but yeah, so basically, especially after my last video where I have my camera set up as I quite often do on top of my amps, um, there's a lot of background noise, especially now I've got the two amps running, where there's just a lot of background noise and I may be more aware of it than some of you guys who may have seen that video. Um, I'll in fact put the link at the top. Um, now, uh, so yeah, I, I just kind of thought, well, surely if I could record my dulcet tones as I ramble on way too much um, with a microphone, then so be it, and you know, hopefully a better result for it. And so, looked online, best budget, you know, best cheap lavalier or lapel microphone. Um, and a common problem that came up was, for one, anything half decent like a Rode microphone, etc., as in the brand R O D E, I think it is, um, uh, were bloody expensive for like what I do, you know, sporadically putting up videos maybe once a month. Um, so this came up quite a lot under the sort of budget end of the search as it's only 14, 14, 15 quid um, UK, obviously. Um, and the bonus is it, it's got a six meter lead on it. A lot of the lavalier microphones only have um, like a one and a half meter lead, because it's the kind of thing that generally speaking, you have your phone or whatever recording device in your pocket, um, and the mic just clipped on you. Whereas I obviously have my recording device at the other end of the room and record into that. Um, and the other bonus as well is it's got the smartphone style jack plug in that it has the three. Yeah, the free rings. So instead of just being tip ring sleeve, it's got like a tip you know, ring ring sleeve or tip which whichever it is, however you would pronounce it. Meaning that you can use it on either a smartphone device or uh, a camcorder style device. Um, and another bonus was if you order on Amazon at the minute, you get throwing up down. This, um, for nothing. I'll probably never ever bloody use it, but again, that was another 15 quid on top, um, and it was free of charge. But anyway, I'll maybe cover that another time if I do actually ever use it. So let's quickly open this up, and then I'm gonna do a couple of um, tests of the camera on top of the amp, and yeah, with and without the microphone. Instructions and bits and pieces. On the back, it's obviously got all the um, specifications, uh, omnidirectional uh, frequency range, 65 hertz to 18 hertz, blah, blah, blah. I'll put a picture of that up in a bit. So yeah, and it even says here for cameras, for the smartphone, etc. Uh, slide off the smartphone, when using the smartphone. Right. So there you go, little leverette pouch, some typical gel crystals, and yeah, bag, little foam wind guard, little battery, and the quarter inch adapter, and the mic with a ton of lead. Um, 
little lapel clip, sponge obviously goes on there, battery goes in here. One thing I noticed and someone else mentioned as well is like the the battery case is all metal, which you know for this sort of price is, is quite something. Um, the actual clip is a metal clip. This is however plastic, the actual microphone is actually plastic. Um, so yeah, short bit of lead to your control with the battery switch on and off and then meters of lead to your actual recording device. Um, this from watching other videos just unscrews and your battery slides in. Slides in somewhere in there with a little ribbon to help you pull it out. And that's even got a little clip on there so you could hook it onto your trousers. Or for any US visitors, pants. So yeah, that's the product. So I'll quickly now do a couple of sound tests. Right, so this is the first part of the test, as such, um, or demonstration. Uh, the camera or phone is set up on top of the amps like I normally have when I sit here with a guitar on my lap, which feels a lot more familiar now. Um, and yeah, the camera is on top of the Blackstar, as per usual. The Blackstar and the Vox are both running, so there, there will be some background noise, some buzzing and some humming, which really kind of stood out to me at least in the last video where I demonstrated how I use both amps together as a like a wet and dry mix. I'll chuck a link up there in case you're interested at all. Um, and yeah so I found there was a lot of background noise. Ho hopefully it's not too obtrusive. Um, but yeah so now I'll jump to the test with the microphone and hopefully that'll be a little bit better. Right second part of the test. I'm going to run through a couple of options, mainly because one of the videos I watched on this said that, I'm pointing down at the box, uh, said that the um, when the microphone is too high or you speak too loud it clips quite a lot. Um, so at this point I've got the microphone sort of just under my shirt. You probably see it's nipped a part of the t-shirt on the little clamp um, the guy does suggest like using a bit of tape just to tape it down a little bit um, just to kind of reduce that a little bit or are his apps you can get to just drop the signal a little bit um, so yeah that's that's that so this is using the microphone this is plugged in the little remote is turned on uh, so yeah I'm not going to switch it on the camera mode to see if it cuts out because it might cut out and then indefinitely not come back on again for this recording at least um, so yeah, this is it with the microphone back there. Um, hopefully you can hear me. Hopefully you can hear me a little bit clearer without the amount of background noise from the amps. Who knows? It might pick up things wonderfully well and be a bit shit. I'll now shift it up to the neckline where you would usually use it. Right. Mic is on the neckline, as you can see, like a big black bug near my Adam's apple. Uh, it may be clipping, it may not. I won't know until I watch this back. Um, but yeah, so again, hopefully it's still better in terms of less background noise, which is what I'm really going for. Like I say, the last video, the background noise bugged the hell out of me. But I spent so long pissing about making the video, I didn't want to delete it or, or just have to redo it. Um, but now I'm gonna just quickly pull the microphone out and have a little spin round and see how it picks up, sort of what directions, etc. Right, mic is out, wiggle wiggle. So yeah, I'm going to speak and just spin the microphone round and round and round, see if it makes any difference to where the signal comes from. Who knows? But anyway, there it is. Maybe it's best just dangling down there somewhere. But yeah, it's quite unsightly. So that's it. That is the Boya BY M1. I'm looking down at the box because I'd forgotten. And yeah, bought it on Amazon. 
and got the free funny little directional video condenser microphone. So yeah, I might even try that through my little USB mix that I use when I record through the amps. Just use it as almost a bit of like room ambience if possible. But yeah, anyway, that's it. Cheers for watching this demo slash test of the microphone. Cheers. Bye-bye.